for rehab I wanna relax Girl, you understand my needs and I believe that They talk and revamp Things you do with your hands You know I need that Need that rehab and another good thing about being independent is an independent woman can do whatever the fuck they want to do. Right Come in any clock at night, put on anything we want. My boy can't talk to it too tough. We can easily say, hit the road, Jack. Get back in the kitchen. And this is why, exactly why, the rule is never take advice from bops. Especially industry bops that be getting ran through because all they're doing is passing on information to these women that are about to hit the wall to get them faster to the wall. So, yeah, never take advice from them, man. This is why dudes getting their passport and getting up out of here. The message is clear. You know what gives me the biggest ick? When guys do this shit in the middle of the gym. Oh, my bad. God forbid a man likes to have fun when he's working out. Shit. That's just me fighting my demons, you know? I, th I thought we, th we don't want them no more. That's facts. But this independent woman hasn't even independently had a thought of her own and thought, wait, let me think for a second. I've become virtually invisible on every one of my errands, especially in the gym. And the only reason she took out her frustration on some random guy that was boxing, possibly doing a posture or swinging his fist in the gym is because men in that same gym that she tries to throw her advances out, flirt, make eye contact with, or try to show that she wants attention and for men to approach her, do not approach her. And she's starting to notice this in her everyday life. So of course she's gonna make a video about it, just like most modern women. But what she doesn't understand is that she has not understood that she is Casper in the dating market and become virtually invisible with a whole lot of other women. Is that a cash app tag? Like sprinkle, sprinkle. It's a new generation of men, so are, are Reed. so feminine. Reed. <laughs> drizzle, drizzle. I thought they was talking about Drake. It doesn't Not stick funny. as good as sprinkle, sprinkle. Though. You're salty. Sound like you're actually drooling. You're salty. You're salty. Okay. Sound like you're drooling. Sound like your water bill about to get cut off. Imagine. Anyway. Is that a fake Louis cup? <laughs> so you're telling me the sprinkle sprinkle lady is taking cash app donations from her stream? That is modern day poverty. Now, anyone, <laughs> anyone that supports the sprinkle sprinkle movement, I'm gonna assume you're broke. The leader has a cash app tag for donations. That's a bad look. He was so hurt, heart full of hatred. She said, drizzle, drizzle doesn't sound as good as sprinkle, sprinkle. Are we like in the ninth grade? <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Shut up, bitch. Also, by the way, whoever your eyebrow lady is, fire her immediately. <laughs> <laughs> hey, since the sprinkle, sprinkle says something, hey, Mark. We dropping these May 3rd. May 3rd, the soft guy era merch drops. So, Drizzle Drizzle has reached the queen. The queen of all of the chat GBT bots, the programming of the sisterhood, the head of the programming of the sisterhood, Sodom 7. And this just goes to show you guys that this soft guy era and these guys that are responsible for this, these dudes are getting all the way up to the queen bee sodom seven and it's like the castle is here and our position is here and we're outside of the gates outside of the gates of the city outside of the castle outside of her shield her defenses and she has her guards bringing up messages she has a messenger coming up and they're opening up the scroll and they're reading it the scribe they're just reading all of it and they're like they're out there my lord they're out there and she's like sprinkle sprinkle and we're like drizzle drizzle and it's getting close guys this is what i was talking about these women are not going to be able to withstand the tidal wave the tidal wave is coming and that's why she's like drizzle drizzle sounds like you're drooling trying to you know down it and talk crazy about it because this is just an irritant but it's going to continue and these dudes already plan to execute them cooking and frying up sodom seven just like i've been doing but I'm just getting more help from these guys, the soft era guys, soft guy era. This man, this is taking over. So, yeah, man, let the games begin. Uh, man, your battle stations, get your passports 
and lock in, guys, because uh, we built for this. But, yeah, keep watching. Stay tuned. My kid's mom called me this morning and asked me if I could give her $300 to help her out with rent. And we haven't dated since 2015, so I don't normally do this kind of thing, like, ever. Because I take care of my kids. I get them half the time. I'm a good dad. So it's not normal that I help her out with money any kind of way. And um, I just told her I needed a little bit to think about it, and I would call her back. And before I had a chance to call her back, her sister called me. <clears throat> her sister tells me that she doesn't actually need the money for rent. And she's trying to get her new boyfriend out of jail because she wanted to be able to be close to him for his birthday. And so... Uh, you know, that hit me some type of way, but I decided to call her anyway. And I told her, come get the money that I would help her out. I just figured, you know, karma will bless me the way that I should be. So she came, she picked up the money. And about two hours later, I get a call from the county jail and I accept the charges and it's her and she's screaming and she's cussing and she's crying and she wants to know why I gave her counterfeit money. And I told her she wanted to be close to her boyfriend for his birthday. And so, you know, happy birthday. <laughs> Got him. We fucking got him. <laughs> Bro is a damn savage. I just wish a man would just put his foot down. Be like, I want you and you only. You're mine. And none of y'all give, give that energy. Like, where's the passion, the obsession? I need more. Because what you're giving right now is piss poor effort. Translation. I want more dick. I want more validation. I want more attention. I need more simps, more orbiters, and more dudes that are willing to just give me money for the fact that I just exist. I want dudes to, you know, be the doormat, be the cucked out master, super cuck master, 8,000 for me, and, you know, me to live happily ever after. I need more. I need to be a leech. I need to be a semen sucker. I need to suck out all of the life out of you and all the validation, attention, and time. This is the type of woman you just bust on and completely ghost her, change your number, you know, throw it out like a burner phone and call it a day.